welcome to my channel so on today's video we are going to be doing my monthly resets basically getting my house in order so last week we did our monthly resets in terms of setting the monthly goals and also doing our budget for the month of march so on today's video i'm going to be just getting my house in order cleaning it and just making sure that it looks fresh and it, it it's it's good to be in it so my plan for the day which are some of the things that you guys have seen already is i needed to do laundry now i decided to do one load of run laundry today just my dark clothes and then i'm gonna do the white one tomorrow which is sunday and then i also needed to clean the kitchen which i've already done and i'm sure you guys saw that part where i was showing you guys how it looked before it was a mess you guys so it had been two weeks that i had not cleaned the house you know properly and thoroughly and this house really needed that clean it needed that refresh and that is exactly what i gave it today and also i needed to clean i need to clean my bathroom which is something that i'm doing already on this right now and my bathtub needed a good scrub like it needed a deep scrub because it was just even though i clean my bathtub every time we take a bath but you could tell that it just needed that scrap nyan and she just to give it that fresh, you know, that fresh look. 
and also i'm going i'm planning to also mop the floors as i said it's been two weeks that i haven't cleaned this house and it really needed <laughs> It needed to be mopped. It needed to be mopped, honestly. And the reason why I didn't mop, because normally I do, I clean my house every weekend. So these monthly resets, I just call it a monthly reset. But honestly, I do it every week. However, last week, it was my daughter's birthday. And there was just a lot going on. And it was just... It was not practical for me to include cleaning in there. We are not in the house majority of the time, majority of the time. And so cleaning the house was just not in my priorities. And so today I had to make it a priority. And because I wasn't going anywhere, I had no plans. I'm going to be mopping these floors. And then the last thing that I'm going to be doing is my weekly groceries now for people that are new in this channel i do a thing called weekly allowances or weekly allocation so instead of actually buying my groceries for the entire month or let's, let's say for instance i take four thousand i take five thousand and go to the shops to buy for the entire month i don't do that what i do is i give myself an allowance for each and every week and so that means that each and every weekend i go to the shops to buy groceries that we are going to need for the specific week this has allowed me to minimize waste when it comes to food and to make sure that the things that I buy are actually the things that I'm going to need and use. Sometimes it does happen that there are certain things that I don't end up using, but then it becomes worse if I were to buy for the entire month. Majority of those things, you might find that they go off. So I found that doing my weekly groceries has been more practical in terms of making sure that I don't waste and also I'm more mindful when it comes to my spending. So that is what we are going to be doing. I'm going to take you guys along with me to the shops to buy my groceries for the week. Another thing is you guys, I'm not going to talk a lot on this video because my voice is just giving up on me. I'm not i'm not feeling the best in terms of speaking right now and so i'm not going to talk a lot and also i want this video to be some kind of a motivation for anyone for you if you are if you need that you know that little bit of a boost to get started or to get going in terms of just getting your house in order your place in order and i'm hoping that this video does that and to do that i think it will be better if i minimize the talking and just play good music and you can let this video play on the background while you do your things. And so I'm going to limit the talking. If it's love, I want everything. Touch my soul, touch my heart, don't judge my mental. They told me that life is simple, been real since Papa Pimple. I started out in the rental, so not at the presidential. Speak once and listen twice. They told me that less is simple. I'm observing in the room, I'll be flying all on the wall. Open mouth conversations, I'll leave you all in some all. Cutting through the noise, I'm hoping I leave a scar. If you don't know where you've been, how you knowing where you are? Nigga. Let's cruise in the night, I'm grooving. Thought you said you was my type, I'm moving too slow. Text back like shit, I'm cool with it. I can match energies, babe, I'm moving your soul. Slump through off the time, check my notifications. It wasn't love we was prepping for, but was something adjacent. I can't be wasting lines. I'm meant for something to say in a time where everything vague and the in between is not what it made out the scene. Everything is intention, but still I tend to do it wrong. Can you fault me? For wanting you was you let alone Both hurt but I wasn't taunting you I just thought it all to be what I was supposed to do or else I wasn't approaching you I put my heart on your sleeve Well like a brooch to you And all in all the outcome would be What it would be You took a chance I took the lead We shook a sheets Advanced and did the deed Don't blame it on me We grown it's a natural Let's thing Let's cruise in the night I'm grooving it Thought you said you was my type I'm moving too slow Text back like shit I'm cool with it I can match energies babe I'm moving your flow I have 
had a dream last night Did everything I never do in real life I stepped into a room, told everyone to be quiet Cause I had something to say, blew everybody away Wear whatever I want Dressed in a gown, everybody's like Why, where you going, no one special Just going to the store I think I'd have it all, tell you why I've even more Picking a plate, being a plate She is on a roof Never seen it like this, didn't think it existed, no truly Don't get in the way, she's not in a place, she'll get moody But don't mistake this girl for being me Cause these are dream rules This is someone else, I'm not myself, no, no mm -hmm. Cause these are dream rules this is someone else, I'm not myself, no, no Problems disappear She could tell you the things you wanna hear She could read your mind and then she could lie Of a little lie to tell yourself a lie Never get it wrong, it's always right Making the plate, being the plate She is on a rule Never seen it like this Didn't think it existed, no truth She's not here to play, she'll get moody But don't mistake this girl for being me Cause these are dream rules This is someone else, I'm not myself, no, no mm -hmm. Cause these are dream rules shops today and I think we're gonna start here I got these at Cleeks so there was this special running at Cleeks and it's ending on the 23rd I think if not the 22nd of this month these for two centurions now if you are a fan of Mitchum and you use Mitchum loyally look because honestly ever since I started using this thing maybe two years ago I've never looked back because it just works <laughs> it works so if you are a loyal user of Mitchum and you know the way of the special clicks, please check it out. Two, I think two for 70, which is a bargain, honestly. Because the price of one normally is around 60 something. So I got two of those. And then this stuff, these I buy for my daughter's lunchbox and the chips, this one for lunchbox. These she eats at home. These are for me. And then we're at Pep and I decided to get these just to put one sweet in her lunchbox 
you know once a day she never carries any sweets and i don't really buy sweets because i feel like this is sugar enough so normally i don't buy sweets for her lunchbox or even keep them in the house because i know how it goes but anyway i decided to get these i also got bread and woolies and normally the checkers that i buy at because i eat white bread blue ribbon white bread that's the one i prefer actually i prefer blue ribbon bread whether white or brown but because my daughter hasn't been a fan of bread i decided to try white bread and she's she's been enjoying white bread the goal is to get her to eat and not to force her to eat things that she does not like otherwise she doesn't eat so this she eats at school and then instead of peanut butter i decided to try this for her even though i know this stuff has a lot of sugar but i just decided to try this on the days that she's carrying bread she can at least eat it because most of the time she comes back when she's carrying bread she comes back with it when it has peanut butter with beaks for her milk i just added this because i still have three that are, are not opened and then carrots uh, butternut i really wanted pumpkin pumpkin but uh there was just something with veggies at woolworths literally i think there were about six of these left pumpkin nothing and then i got this muesli currently they have a special at Wool woolies these are these go for 66 something rents maybe 67 at most these and it's one kg if you know you know because jungle jungle what what whatever these other muesli's they 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 sell for the same price or more sometimes 70 something rents but then you find that they are 700 gram 700 gram and for me i feel like that is a robot so i prefer to buy these at Woody's because even if they are not as special for the fact that they are 1 kg instead of 700 i'll rather pay for this one than to pay for the other one and then rice krispies for my daughter ever since i discovered the original ones these ones that have no sugar i haven't turned back and whenever i go to the shop and shops and these are not available i rather not buy rice krispies than to buy the ones that are vanilla flavored because they have too much sugar and then all brain for me and then this i wanted a double cream but honestly i just couldn't i didn't want to spend the extra eight rents for the double cream especially because my budget was already limited by the time i went to because when i left here my budget was 1100 and then by the time i went to woolies to buy the rest of the stuff i had 200 rands and i had to make sure that in the 200 rands i get this i got that i got this i got this and what else did i get i got bread and sam all of these things they amounted to 190 something so i really could not stretch and get double cream but double cream is my favorite when it comes to plain yogurt bananas mm, what are these um noodles my daughter carries noodles at school sometimes because she enjoys them so i do make her noodles some of the days so maybe once a week she'll carry noodles and talking about her lunchbox i also bought these because normally i buy these at spa when i'm coming back from work and then put it for her lunchbox in the following day but i bought six of these there are six in a box and they go for 105 rand so i decided to buy these and then we've got nuggets and then mango juice spinach so that i can because i want to make some chicken um spinach and butternut for tomorrow's tomorrow's dinner and then i also got myself some flowers because the ones that my neighbor gave me had already wilted and they lasted shame they lasted about two weeks so i'm going to pack all the stuff away put my flowers in a jar and I'm going to rest, guys, because I'm tired. I'm tired. But I'm glad that I did all of these things on Saturday. That way, tomorrow, I'm just going to focus on creating dinner and doing homework for my... Helping my daughter to do homework. And that will be it. yourself do you really think it's gonna help if you always fighting yourself trying to forget how you felt just take a look at yourself can't even be your own friend
is your way to stuck in your head How do you think it's gonna end? Nothing that they could do Nothing that they could say Nothing that they could do To take all the pain away Sometimes it works out and sometimes it don't Sometimes you win some and sometimes you won't But we could be I'm just gonna close off this video now I hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did please make sure that you give it a big thumbs up because it does help in terms of supporting my channel and also if you are not subscribed please join us that is if you enjoy the content that I serve on this channel so the last thing that I did is just you know putting my flowers my beautiful flowers in the vase and I'm in love with my flowers. They are beautiful. Once I was done with putting my flowers on the vase, what I then did was to pack away my Woolies bag. Now, these bags have honestly became a saver for me when it comes to not buying plastics. So what I do now, because they are so easily accessible in my drawer, in the kitchen, it's so easy for me to pick them and just put them in one bag and go. It has made me cut a lot of costs when it comes to buying plastics, but also just waste as well, you know. And also another thing that I did was last week, I washed all of my bags. So I took all of my Woolies bag and I put them in the machine. I washed them and I hang them outside and then I packed them again. And so that allowed them to just smell fresh because there's nothing as annoying as packing for someone who has bags and their bags are just stinking. And so I just had to be mindful of that. I haven't done this a lot. Actually, I've never done this previously, but last time I went to the shops, I just thought about it and then I decided to wash them so that on the next trip that I go in the shops, they smell fresh. So if you are that person who uses these bags, please make sure that you wash your bags. Not every time because I, real, I realized that when I washed them, they were not as good looking and all the stuff. So you can imagine the more that you wash them, the more they're going to they're gonna be worn out. However, it's just better to wash them. So I, I'm telling myself that I will do this once a month. And then because I don't put wet, I don't put cold and wet stuff on my bags. I normally just buy one bag for the cold stuff and then the rest I put in the bag. I feel like washing them once a month is more practical just to make sure that they last longer and they don't get worn out quicker with that being said i'll see you on the next one please take care and stay safe bye